let's get start demo first so this is uh, i already set up azure storage emulator and locally so this is one we have set up and also they have provided you know some uh, command so that we can check it so if i check for example uh, so it is a uh, what is the status as of now so i can use like this just copy and paste and hit enter once you hit enter see it is saying it is running true is running to on also it is running whatever you know uh, endpoint and uh, whatever that uh, url and port it is running for blo blob storage and you know, a blob endpoint uh, for blob storage it is running this let me zoom in for you so this is for blob storage and this is for a queue and this is for a table right so these three things actually give us for azure storage uh, that we can do uh, set up and locally so that we can implement our function we can push the message we can use our http trigger function we can you know use a service bus function also so that we can you know locally testing for testing purpose perspective it is very nice actually uh, tools provided by that emulator uh, actually tools or emulator by the microsoft and uh, there's a many way actually we can set up in locally way by using azure emulator and also there's a azure right and many things so we'll do one by one but here first we'll install and also see once you install there's a one more things actually i just install microsoft azure storage explorer so this is another tool as a as an explorer so once you uh, have installed so whatever is storage we have that i can check using that explorer so this two tools need to install and uh, then we'll can start our further implementation so in this session only i will just set up so that uh, further implementation we don't need to take and care these things because this is important initial level right so see once i just install i will see uh, these three things uh, azure storage this provide the blog and queues and also tables and one more thing actually missing over here that is i'm not able to get but yeah that is fine for queue there's a one more things actually azure store provide that is a topic so that topics things is missing but yeah that is fine but uh we'll do in action once you implement so definitely you will get some idea how we can push that message in the queue how i can retrieve the message in the queue how can you know create a table how can insert the data inside that azure storage table and also how can upload the file in this blob container and how can download how can you know uh, retrieve the images so everything we'll do one by one so let's just start to install first so let me close everything first of all what need you need to open a browser okay and i i already open this link and this link i will provide we with you this is a microsoft link which will keep us this azure storage emulator site so as of now they're saying see this is a storage uh, for development and testing but uh, emulator is a but it is a deprecated okay because there, there's a many new version is coming up but yeah we'll do one by one so where you have to go you have to go this one see they provide the standalone installer right so you have to just install this uh, you have to just first download this microsoft azure emulator.msi i already installed I, I i already have a download so i am not going to do again so yeah you have to click over here just download and later on we'll take on then azure right how we can do setup for azure right in locally but yeah as of now we'll do this one once you've done download which i already done over here see this one i have download uh this one so i download it uh just we install and once this download then you have to download one more thing which i shown is a demo right so that was a azure storage explorer so whatever we have set up so that we can check where we can check so this is that tool actually we can check like azure storage explorer so you can just go to this link also let me zoom in for you you have to go to this guy and you can just uh, choose whatever your operating system based on this you can choose like i am in my system is a window so i will use and just click window and you can just download so azure storage windows you can just download so these two things you have to download once you download 
first you have to just you know double click on that and whatever your you know installation uh, instruction you have to just install i already done so i'm not going to do that so i think this is fine uh, remove or you know already installed so that's why repair and remove but uh, yeah this is a very simple step so i'm not going to do that just click cancel and finish and once it's done then also you have to just uh, install this guy azure storage so this is also provided like this for few step like agree install and next 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 that's finish once you're done i just skip that one so you have to two things you will get it first one this see azure emulator so you will get that azure emulator as well as that explorer so you have to open that one by one first you have to open first azure emulator i'm just trying to open once you open definitely it will automatically actually installed uh is running in your locally with this command okay so once it's command so we can make sure okay it is initialized if it is the first time so what you can do you can just create this command so that it will initialize so let me get this so see once you create so it automatically create a db this and sql instance will this it will actually handle itself we don't need to do anything yeah before that proceeding i especially recommend act still actually you have to install uh, one sql server in your local machine so might be they using mysql db so definitely they have to required so in my system already installed so i have not checked but yeah make sure if it is not successfully installed so then definitely you have to install that sql client in your machine then you can just use this command also so you can just start if it is not start so it's also saying see emulator has started you can just verify with this clear command uh, just just a status command so once i copy let me click and see once you uh, check the status so that means it should be listening on this three this three endpoint so it should be status is running true and also those uh, endpoint provide that this as a for blog for queue for the table right so once it's done then what you have to do you have to just open this uh, explorer and once you open if you go to over here you can get this one see this is attachment container you have to not go into this one this is the emulator one so this is a default port and if you go to over here you can get you know your account name and whatever your endpoints you are able to see over here once you successfully running and then also your primary key and your connection string over here once you this button clicks you will get that your primary key and also connection string and those primary key and connection strings will be used in our upcoming session for using azure service bus function or http trigger function and also while pushing the message those connection string we have to require so that will be used in further and uh, what else we have once you expand this guy so you will get this three storage right so as of now there's a container so don't worry about that what is that blob container and how we can upload file download file we will show in upcoming session also if there is a queue and how we can can create a, a, the queue so see there's a right click options you can create your another queue for example my demo my demo right and once you click see your demo queue is ready and is this demo queue there is a nothing message so you can just add also message so for example my first message so once you click ok so message will be over in their queue right and see this message also here and you can just multiple messages as well so this is another message so this is another message and this message also you can receive by your function as your service bus function that will do in an upcoming session and uh, here is also table also so you can just create your azure is table storage table like that over here like my demo so my demo also you can just add a, a property uh, as well here like the default properties are primary key and row key and also if you want like name 
etc and whatever type you want you can get it and also you just put that some value for example this and just insert so those those names see the table name you can get it over here right so like this uh, we can set up and uh, your locally or azure storage and uh, that's all for this session but yeah in upcoming session we'll do use this local storage and how we can push the message via http trigger function and how we can push the message via our you know dot net core web api so those are things we'll do in upcoming session and also we'll take in care how to upload file inside this blog so that's all and one more thing actually before close this session actually if you want to so right click and if you go to that get access signature right so if you want to uh, signature or just if you want to you know share access uh, connection string so you can create over here like like this option right click and share access signature and how much time you want so based on this so this is actually create a signature for that you know accessible in your uh, this this blob container queue and tables based on the time suppose i define in a starting time this and expire time of this so till now that ex share access token will work after this time period it will not work actually so that is actually share access token concept so once i create create you will get this share access token right so this share access token you can use in your application and also it will generate a sas token so that's all uh, so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share